Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education. Hey everyone, checking in on gold and some miners here. So gold has been in a big time pullback and we made a significant bearish break of support. That was this low of support that was established down here at 1239.53. That was a must hold level for this uptrend to remain intact and that has broken. So that was a significant blow to the bulls. So what we can anticipate after that is for a lower high to form on a bounce. So anytime I see a higher low break, I then look for lower highs and lower lows to be con continue playing out from here. So the next support that we have on the daily time frame is down here at 1194.86, and that's a very key support as well. But you can see that the move that we made for the bulls off of this support, we didn't establish much support on the way up, which is why this consolidation level was so important. Because now that this has broken, again, a lack of support here in the short term. This is a bullish reversal candlestick here that formed today. It's my least favorite bullish reversal candlestick. It's an inverted hammer, almost a gravestone doji. But it is, like I said, it is a bullish reversal candlestick. But to me, it shows me the bulls tried to bounce, the bears squashed it down. And the psychology of the reversal candlestick is that it's the last push down by the bears to keep the price contained before the bulls take back over. But again, I don't really like it. And I don't like playing this kind of candlestick for a reversal bounce. It is an inside bar to be watching as well. We had a higher low compared to yesterday. So we can be watching this inside bar. A break of 1235.50 is bullish on the daily and a break of 1225.99 would be a bear break and see lower lows. Looking at the weekly time frame for a bit of a different perspective here on gold. So we can see overall on the weekly, the bulls do still have an uptrend on this bounce, but we are still in a downtrend from the high of the previous bounce that we had seen. So if I were going to be drawing some trend lines here, I would change it up to be hitting our new lower high on the weekly time frame here. So that would be my resistance line. And in terms of an uptrend line, I would draw a new one here, hitting this low and our higher low. So this would be the converging pattern that I would be watching here on the weekly time frame. Our key support that I just pointed out on the daily is already highlighted here with that support line and watching to see which direction this pattern breaks. Again, we could stay in this pattern for another four months easy. So it's not going to break anytime soon, closer to a bull break than a bear break. But if we keep pulling back down, this support line is down around 1160 right now. And the resistance line right now is around 1275. So this is the range to be watching. And if we zoom out overall, we know that the bears have been in control longer term. So it's up to the bulls to break bullish from this pattern to try and see this bounce continue playing out. But again, the daily time frame taking a bit of a hit. And we have to keep in mind that we always need to be factoring in what the stock market is doing here, because obviously there's a relationship with commodities. And if you have the stock market at all time highs, which we're right on the verge of, that is bearish on these precious metals. So we know precious metals are more of a a flight to safety when there's weakness in the market. That's when we see some influx in buying. So with the market at all time highs and stocks running left and right, everybody's hitting new all time highs, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Google, PCLN, just all time highs. It's pretty easy to make money as a bull in this market right now. And that's what we're seeing people doing. And that's why gold is seeing this downside. So what does that mean for miners? It means they're getting crushed. And we've been seeing a big time pullback over the past three weeks to the downside. And we can see just now we're trying to see a bounce play out. This is GDX on the daily. We had our bullish reversal hammer yesterday. We did confirm it today, but look at these exponential resistances. If the bulls cannot get over daily exponential resistances, they do not have any momentum on the bounce. And we've been rejecting time and time again over the past two weeks from these exponential resistances, showing the inability of the bulls to see any kind of upside. So we had support down here at 2114. That level broke. We dropped down to 21, make that 2089. So there's a lower low, same like same thing that gold just hit. On the weekly time frame for GDX, we have our high of the bounce, our low of consolidation, lower high, and now a lower low. And we did lose this 
uh, 200-week moving average support that held the last pullback. Only lost it by $0.04, cents, so that's not convincing. And it is a bullish reversal hammer here on the weekly time frame. So that little two-day bounce there was enough to give this weekly candlestick a bullish reversal candlestick. But we have to see a green week next week to confirm it. Pretty much a must for the bulls to see a green week next week. The market closed really strong today. We're on the verge of that all-time high. Going to be pretty easy for those bulls to see continuation. So we have to see the gold bulls show up as well. And obviously, if the market and gold were going in the same direction, that would greatly benefit these bull miners. And that's really what they need at this point. GDX is so much more bearish. And in these videos and in the chat room, I feel like a broken record at this point because we've been pointing out how GDS, JDST is the name to be playing if you are bearish gold miners and NUGT is the name to play if you are bullish. And that's because these junior miners are so much weaker than these senior miners. And that's also because silver is extremely weak. Silver has been dumping much more significantly than gold and the junior miners are more exposed to silver. So here we do, we did not have a bullish reversal candlestick yesterday. We saw a green day today rejecting from the four period exponential resistance yet again. This is rejection after rejection here on the daily time frame. No follow through. Look at this low back here. 3266. That's the low that GDX just barely broke. And we look at GDXJ and we fell right through that level. We've broken it by a long shot here, almost by about 8% at this point. So GDXJ on the weekly time frame, you can see how much different this pattern looks. Our high, low, lower high, and lower low by a long shot on an all-out dump. So we're looking down at support here of 2737. That is a must-hold level. And for the same level on GDX, that's all the way down at 1858. We still have a lot of wiggle room before that level is even in consideration. That's about 14% before we head down there. And we look at GDXJ, 2737. That's about 10% until we are down at that support level. So what this means is JDST has been extremely bullish. And we look at JDST here on the daily time frame real quick just to see this kind of uptrend that we've seen. And a big bull breakout over the past month. As soon as we broke this high of 63.20, we had our low of the pullback, high of the bounce attempt, higher low, and then we break 63.20, and then it's off to the races after that little trend change there and a big time turnaround for these bear miners. I'm also watching silver USLV for an oversold short term bounce early this next week. We had a bullish reversal spinning top yesterday. We, or make that, yep, that was yesterday. And we have an inside candlestick today, but it is a close up at the high of the day. Look how oversold this RSI is. It was an all out absolute dump. I believe it was 13 red days in a row. And we have to see a bull break of this inside candlestick on Monday, 1164, 1179. And then we're looking for some upside. I do believe that we can see an easy 10% bounce on this oversold bounce. We just need to be cautious as bulls because very clearly we are fighting the trend. So we will anticipate bounces to be short-lived. We have exponential daily resistance to be watching, but it all depends on whether or not the bulls can step number one is breaking this inside bar on the daily time frame to the upside with a break of the high of today on Monday. So watching USLV for this oversold bounce, keeping an eye on these bear miners, which have been in control, but the bull miners are trying to see some short-term upside here and we'll see if they get any follow through. Let's check GDX one more time. So bullish reversal candlestick being confirmed must get over exponential resistance to try and see some follow through. I appreciate you watching. We'll continue to check back in as always. We'll see you soon.